Hey everybody, it's Sarge, and welcome to an ace tanker battle. Today, we're looking at the British Tier 8 heavy tank, the Paladin, Carnarvon Action X. Looking at all the numbers, comparing the Paladin to the Carnarvon Action X version, there is no difference in any of the stats or any of the details. You want to say it's a skinned version of the Carnarvon Action X, but I say it's not. It has a nice paint job, but that paint job gives it no benefit whatsoever to its camo rating. The garage allows you to add your choice of camo to this tank, and the painting still stays visible. We set this tank up exactly the same way with the same commander skills, same equipment, and everything that we did for the Carnarvon Action X. We took it into battle 24 times. We had a 54% win rate a 33% survival rate, and a 27% on our mark of excellence. This Rolls-Royce engine will get you up to 36 kilometers an hour, which is pretty good for a heavy tank. The gun is a 20-pounder. The reload time starts out at 5.6 seconds, so that gives you about 10.7 rounds a minute. The gun depression's a great negative 10 degrees. The accuracy, again, is great as well at .32, and it only gets better when you add your commander skills. And the aim time is a really great 1.9 seconds, so it's pretty quick to snap some shots. The alpha ammo is AP. It'll pin 226 millimeters of enemy armor and has a good velocity of 1,020 meters a second. But the APCR is the ammo that I go for on this tank. It'll pin 258 millimeters of enemy armor, so that's 32 more millimeters a pin, and it has a velocity of 1,275 meters a second. That's really nice. And both the Alpha and Bravo ammo will do about 230 hit points of damage. Another great part of these tanks is the armor. The lower plate's only 76 millimeters, and the upper plate's 130 millimeters. But the strongest part of the Paladin is the turret. It has 14 millimeters of spaced armor surrounding the cheeks. It has 111 millimeters in that yellow part right there on the forehead. So that's kind of your weakest spot of the turret. The cupola is a little bit stronger at 127 millimeters, and the face armor right there in that big red spot gets up to 254 millimeters. I like that a lot. So, when you're playing this tank, make sure to go haul down as much as possible and only expose the front face of that turret. Here's the detailed look at the Paladin Carnarvon Action X numbers. This is the way we have it set up with our commander and equipment on this thing. You can see that our reload time dropped to right around 4 seconds per shot. That's beautiful. That gave us a rate of fire of a little over 14 rounds a minute. So our damage per minute increased from 2,463 up to 3,379. That's just about 1,000 more hit points of pain per minute we can deal into the enemy. And don't forget, the accuracy went from a .32 to a nice tight shot group of .26. That's nice. Now let's get this tank onto the battlefield and see how it can perform. Alright, Ghost Town. Good little map for this tank. Lots of places to hide. Lots of places to go haul down. Protect that front lower plate, front upper plate. Use the thick part of the turret to try and bounce a few shots. So... I'm thinking we're going to go to the standard spot right around Golf 8, Golf 9. Get over there. Keep a building between us and the enemy spawn because the enemy spawn has two red arty. And that's not good, especially on this map. Those rounds will hit you in a matter of a second or two. So, the good news is we got two of our green light tanks pushing that far corner. They're going to detect anybody that's coming around there to YOLO. So if we can keep the enemy pushed back a little bit, that gives us time to get into position, get the gun hot, and get it ready to go. We're going to run the alpha ammo. We got 30 rounds of AP. Let's see how we can do with that. The light tanks push the three red heavy tanks into the city. There's four of them up there now. Let's go a little bit wider left. Let's go to this gravel pile here. I think, I think we can make it across this danger crossing. Can we keep going straight across? Probably... Oh no, there's four of them. <laughs> snap, we bounced. Keep going, keep going. Another snap, pow. Bounced off of the IS-6 twice. All right, all right. We made it to the side of this building. See this gravel pile here? We can use that as a little haul down position. Kind of get a little bit of a protection from the enemy trying to shoot our lower plate. So they got to go for the upper plate or go for the turret. 
We're putting a lot of shots into this Chrysler K. That's a good thing. We want to get him off the board. He's probably one of their bigger threat tanks. A lot of armor, good gun. We got to be careful. We're penning him every shot, I think. We missed one shot into him. One more and we got the KO. We got him. We got the IS-6 coming in. He's pushing hot and heavy. Let's hide that front lower plate. Pivot to the right. Hide the plate. Good, good bounce. We bounced his shot. Then we penned his tank. We get another shot into him. What do we got there? We got a hammer coming around the corner as well. This is beautiful. Lots of red tanks. There's five red tanks there. Keep an eye on the mini map. Watch that medium tank on the left. We don't want him pushing around. Put a shot into the hammer. We pen it for 200. Talk about a low roll. Pow. 232. Good fighting. Good exchange. We're bouncing 1,000 damage while taking... 2,200 enemy hit points away. So that's good. Let's push on up. Let's put a shot in the IS-6, and we got him. Hammer coming in. I don't think the hammer can pen us. Let's keep shooting. No, he's not penning us. Let's keep shooting. Pound it away. One more shot for the KO. Oh, even with our four-second reload, somebody beat us to the KO. Artie's looking at us. We got to be careful. Keep moving. There's a Slayer up there. Snapshot into the tank destroyer. We penned him. Artie missed us. Another snapshot into the Slayer. We got him. And somebody else steals our kill. We get a lot of kills taken away from us on this map. A lot of kills stealing on this map. Nine green, seven red. That's okay. We're up by two. We got to keep fighting. 3,200 damage. We've locked 1,100, so that's nice. We just want to pause just for a second because Artie was anticipating us coming around there. They could have taken a blind shot at us and hit us, so we wanted to make sure we didn't let that happen. We just lost another two green tanks back-to-back. -back. It's down seven to six. All right, there's one of the Arties, M12, pow, 223. It's going to take about four more shots to get him off the board with all those hit points he's got. One more, 231. He's still got 336. It's going to take two more shots. One more, left him with 88 hit points, put a shot into him. He takes half our health. Got him. Took half our health, killed a couple of our crew members, and we got to keep going. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing. I'm not worried about fixing that radio. I want to save the track. No pass Gucci. That bulldog took out the other Artie. I'm going to save the repair kit just in case we get tracked or ammo racked or something. I don't want to waste it. The uh, T-43 green tank just killed itself. It's 5-3. to three. Let's go back this way. It looks like the final three red tanks coming around the 9 line. Coming up, Juliet, Kilo, 9-0 area. We got a VK. Let's get a couple more shots in. Can we get just a little bit more damage dealt? Just a little more damage. Pow. Got him for 264. Can we get another KO? That'd be great. Can we get it? Oh, we got it. <laughs> I'm not sure how that hit him, but we got it. We were aiming a little bit high and right. All right, two light tanks left. Let's keep pushing. 4484 damage. Woo wee. Very nice. I'm on my way. I need a target. Don't shoot him. We've used about 25 rounds of AP so far. This gun is good. We got an LTG light. We've got a Vanguard tier eight. We got to be careful with that Vanguard. That thing can probably KO us. He could probably get us off the board. He's up in the middle of the courtyard up there. Is he going to come down into the left? Coming through right there? Nope. He kept going down into the left. Let's get another shot. Can we get a look to the far left side over there? Is he coming right there on the side bridge? Right there? Oh, nope. He's coming around. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Aim high. Oh, uh, he's on the high side of that slope right there. Let's pre-aim. Here he comes. Pow. Oh, man, we missed that by a mile. All right, here he comes. He puts one shot into us. He bounces. Let's lead the shot. Oh, come on. He pens us twice. Oh, no. We keep missing. We missed again. That's it. Snap. Pow. <laughs> oh. Sometimes aiming the shot's overrated. Let's get this LTG. Can we get the final KO on the game? Three out of three last tanks. We got the light tank coming around. Lead the shot. We got him. Beautiful. Beautiful. 47, 28 damage. Six kills. That's a top gun. I'll take it. We got a victory. MVP. Six kills. 4,728 damage. 2,029 XP. That should be pretty good. We blocked 1390 by going haul down and using that turret. We protected that lower plate. What did we get? We got the ace tanker. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Very nice. Ace tanker, top gun, high caliber, steel wall, all kinds of medals and ribbons. I'll take it. That was a pretty good battle. Woo-wee.